everybody, welcome to Pressure Crisp, and on today's episode we're going to be making some zucchini chips and the Ninja Foodie. We're going to bread them, but we're going to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in with the breadcrumbs as well as panko. Let's just get started. What you see in front of you, I have two zucchinis. They're about the same size. They were rinsed and washed and everything else. As you can see, I was practicing with different thicknesses. We're going to be using a mandolin today. So we have this handy dandy mandolin. It's an Oneida, I picked it up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But it's a very useful tool um, if you want to make potato chips, if you're making scalloped potatoes, zucchini chips, any type of like vegetable chip. This mandolin is fantastic. So I've already did some of them, which you could see. I want, up, oh, dropped that one on the floor, so that's beyond the five second rule. You're just gonna take your zucchini, make sure it's clean to wash. You want them about this size, or this size. And all you're gonna do is just slice. And look how fast this is. Now, you're getting down towards the bottom. They do have this handy dandy safety device. You can put that right on there. And you can just go down and it lets you finish off the zucchini. And this is what we have left, so there's not that much waste. And you don't slice your hand wide open. We are done with the mandolin. Let me just put it off to the side. I'm just going to do one for now just to show you the technique, but I did want to show you what size zucchini I was using. So I'm just going to push these off to the side. We're going to set up our little dredging station. I have one egg, and you're just going to whisk this. You can use two eggs. It depends on how many zucchinis you're going to be dipping. I also have a half a cup of all-purpose flour and the egg mixture and I also have a half a cup of breadcrumbs and a quarter cup of panko. I like to mix mine. You can use straight, straight panko. You can also use straight breadcrumbs if that's what you want to do. To this I'm just going to add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And all we're going to do, we're just going to mix this all together. Because the breadcrumbs coat it nicely, but I think panko, it just adds that extra crunch. And with this Parmesan cheese, it's going to have that special something. We can also go ahead and add a little black pepper to that. I'm just going to add that much. I'm not going to add any salt due to the fact that there's some salt in the Parmesan cheese. I just caught myself there. I am going to add, this is chili powder. You can add a little bit of cayenne. You just want enough in there to know that there's something in there, but you don't want to taste it. Okay, now moving back to the flour mixture. I am going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of salt, and probably a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You're also going to add, you can add a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic to your flour mixture. Just take your fork, or if you have a whisk, a whisk would be better and just mix this all around. You're just trying to flavor that zucchini. Just give it a little bit of a flavor. Now what you could also do is, since we added Parmesan cheese in here, you could actually add some Italian seasoning to this if you so desire. I've decided. To the panko mixture, I am gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning. We're gonna add, it's probably about, it's a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Since we have the Parmesan cheese in there, we're gonna make this an Italian zucchini chip that we will be dipping in marinara sauce. So we're gonna start dipping slash dredging the zucchini chips. We're gonna take a zucchini chip, just dip it in flour. Whoops, shake off the excess. We're going to dip it in egg. Gonna take it from the egg and put it right into the breadcrumbs. The right hand is dirty, so we're actually gonna take the left hand to coat these. I probably should have done it the other way, but we are committed now. And we're just going to set it on a plate. I'll show you again. You're going to take a zucchini, dip it into the flour mixture, shake off the excess, put it in the egg mixture, try to get all sides coated. Just keep flipping until it's completely coated. There we are. Take it, just put it right into the breadcrumbs. Take your clean hand and just put the crumbs over the zucchini. Look at that. Simple, easy, and these are going to be so delicious. So we are done breading the zucchini. 
So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take your oil of choice. I'm actually using olive oil and we're just gonna squirt these. Squirt. We're gonna spray these with olive oil. Next, we're going to take the zucchini chips. We sprayed the one side and we're just gonna set them in the basket, the dry side up. What I mean by that is the non-oil side up. They all fit, they're all in there. Now we're gonna take that same olive oil and we're just gonna spray this side of the zucchini chips. They are completely sprayed with olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the lid. Ninja Foodi is on. We're gonna choose Air Crisp. We're gonna put it right at the 400. We're just gonna hit start. Defaults to 20 minutes, but we're gonna actually lower this down. I'm gonna do 10 minutes and see how they are at that time. But in five minutes, we're going to check them and flip them. It's been five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and raise the lid. All right, we are going to cook these for another five on this side and then flip them. It's been another five minutes, we're gonna check them. There we go, nice and golden, looking good. We're gonna be gentle and we're going to flip these over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the lid and we're gonna cook these for another probably six minutes. So the total cooking time on these would be 15 to 18 minutes for these zucchini chips. Okay, so it's been a total of 17 minutes. These zucchini chips look fabulous. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I'm gonna plate them up and we will be doing a taste test. Here's a taste test on those zucchini chips. Well, the zucchini parm chips. Let me give you a close up of what they look like. Not sure if you can see them, but they're deliciously golden brown. I do have a little bit of marinara sauce that we're gonna be dipping them in. So let's see if we can do this. They're still quite warm. We're gonna do a little dip. Mmm. You have the nice crunch on the outside. And then you also have some of that zucchini, the zucchini-ness inside. You actually still taste that this is actually a zucchini, but it's so crunchy on the outside. I mean, very, very good. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos from Pressure Crisp.